Yeah, my wife and I are the parents of five children, three that are with us and two that are in heaven. After our first child was born, Maria and I experienced back-to-back -back ectopic pregnancies in 2017 and 2018. They weren't clumps of cells, they weren't lifeless beings, they weren't biological waste, they were babies. Separate and autonomous human beings who had a soul, a purpose, and a value from the very moment of conception. These babies had a unique name, a unique purpose, and a unique calling. And according to scripture, they were known by God himself as he was forming them inside of Maria's womb. And when we get to heaven, we will see them. Along with the 63 million babies our country has lost since Roe v. Wade was decided in 1973. Today, abortion is the leading cause of death in the United States, and it is not even close. After our miscarriages, the doctors told us it would take a miracle to have any more children. But God was merciful, and he gave us two more miracles. Children are an inheritance from the Lord. They are not an inconvenience. They are not a roadblock to your career. They are not a distraction from more important work, for in fact, they are our most important work. Amen. Abortion is immoral. It always has been and it always will be. It is the shedding of innocent blood which God abhors. And unless we have a belief that life starts in the womb, our opinion on any other justice issue is morally bankrupt and intellectually dishonest. <laughs> Abortion is the reverse of communion. Instead of his body broken for us, it is the breaking of children's bodies on our behalf. Abortion is the reverse of the atonement. Instead of his blood being shed for our sin, we ask the next generation to shed their blood for our convenience. The most dangerous place for an African American is not in the inner city, it's in the womb. The most conservative estimates tell us 711 black children die in the womb each day in some communities for every baby born, two are aborted. The most dangerous place for a developmentally disabled person isn't on the playground being bullied by their peers, it's in the womb, as abortion now claims the life of 90% of preborn babies with conditions like Down syndrome. The most dangerous place for a female is not at the nightclub, it's in the womb. As the practice of sex selective abortions is now common in many places around the globe. The United Nations now estimates that a minimum of 126 million women are missing from the global population count due to sex selective abortion over the last 25 years alone. Friend, Roe v. Wade is a scourge on our nation. It is single handedly the greatest civil rights issue of our day. It doesn't mean that other issues aren't important. It means that to present every issue as equally important is to intentionally ignore what science, scripture, and common sense tell us to be true. A person is a person no matter how small. I have friends who were born with disabilities. I've got kids who weren't planned. In fact, I, I know folks who were conceived through rape. How dare our culture invalidate their existence because of the circumstances surrounding their conception? How is it that finding bacteria on Mars qualifies as finding life on other planets, but hearing the heartbeat of a baby on an ultrasound doesn't qualify as finding life in the womb? How is it that our leaders in Washington state will fire you for not taking a vaccine, but then cry my body, my choice when it comes to aborting a baby? We have been lied to by our political leaders. We have been lied to by our celebrity culture. We have been lied to by the spirit of the age. Friend, a life has infinite value at the moment of conception and should be treated as such. 
No, abortion isn't wrong because certain politicians say it's wrong. Abortion is wrong because it takes a picture that God is painting and it rips it up before it can ever see the light of day. It takes a person formed in the image of God and unjustly denies them personhood before they ever had a chance to exit the womb. Let 2022 be the year where 50 years of state-sanctioned genocide begins to end. And if you're going to a church whose pastor isn't even able to muster a singular coherent line about the value of life, find a new church. We got people running around so scared of their own shadow that they never say what is true out of fear of losing their influence or platform. Friend, if we can't tell the truth, we've already lost the only platform that matters. And don't tell me Christians aren't leading the charge not just for life, but for the care of women and children after they are born. Christians adopt at the highest rates of any community. For every abortion clinic that exists, Christians operate at least two pregnancy resource centers. Christians are on the front lines of maternal assistance, training programs, job placement, fatherhood initiatives, divorce recovery, and premarital counseling, just to name a few. If it involves the family, you name it, and Christians are leading the charge. And although our nation has blood on its hands, I know the one whose blood is stronger, whose power is greater, and whose love is deeper. And what about if you've had an abortion? Do you still have a seat at God's table? And the answer for you today is yes because even the father knows what it's like to lose a son and God's great grace and redemption is no match for our mistakes. If you've lost a baby, rest assured, for at the resurrection you will meet again. If you've lost a baby, rest assured, they are now safe in the arms of Jesus and one day you will hold them again. The father never leaves the orphan alone, rest assured. Heaven's largest mansion is reserved for those whose lives were lost before they ever had a chance to breathe. 